baby girl like lightning in a bottle. I just can't let guy know that I got it. Uh, 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 I need is to be struck by your electric light. Uh, your electric light. Uh, I'm 19 years old. Yo, but like tell me that didn't sound amazing. That sounds so good. I'm scared it might get copyrighted. Like that sounded so much like the original that I think it might get copyrighted. But honestly, I'm gonna upload it anyway because I feel like you guys deserve to hear my beautiful singing. Yeah. What is up, honey buns? I am back with another video. I know I haven't been uploading consistently lately, but then I realized I stopped uploading and I started gaining subscribers. And I was like, what the heck is that about? Really? I'm just lazy. But also the reason I haven't been uploading is because of college. You know, college has single-handedly within five weeks taken five years off my life and I'm just not doing good. So I decided to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been going on in the past few weeks and all the things I haven't been able to share with you guys. And yes, I am dressed in this grandma sweater from 2013. What about it? What are you gonna do? Huh? Come to our house? Have her hold the social distancing? My hair? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, what have you been doing with your life for the past few weeks? That's a good question. Well, a few weeks ago, I actually cut myself on something. Um, I don't know if you can see the cut. It's almost gone. Okay, I don't think you can see. And my hand's hairier than a chimpanzee's paw, so you really cannot see. I gotta shave this shit. But I cut myself on something. I want y'all to take a second and pick one out of these four options and guess what was the murder weapon that tried to cut my hand. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Take your time picking your option. I have this. I pull with peanut butter and I'm just gonna eat it while you guys just take your time guessing. It was a goddamn frozen french fry. I cut myself with a frozen french fry. Let that sink in. It was my fourth time cooking that shit up. Like I had four servings of french fries that day and I got cut by the french fry the fourth time. Like that is clearly a sign from the universe telling you you have portion control, portion control issues. issues. There we go. Yep. Speaking of portion control issues, since we're talking about food anyway, we're down in the dishes, let's just continue that conversation. You know what's the best feeling ever? So you know when you're actually hungry? So you go over to your pantry or your fridge or something and you start rummaging for some food. And then you stumble upon some food that you had, but you, for, you, you forgot that you bought it and it was just in the back and you just, you're hungry and you have food for once. That's just insane to me. That is the best feeling to exist. So that happened to me a few weeks ago. I know good things are not supposed to happen to us because it's 2020, but it did. You know, once in a while, I get slightly concerned about how much food is able to dictate my happiness. I only wonder once in a while though, because otherwise it would just get sad. So I've been obsessed with this song lately. It's just that something about that song makes me so like emotional. It's called Pussy Fairy. Uh, yeah, um, it's, uh, Fuck all your free time, you don't need no me time That's you and me time, we be getting so mad That didn't make my soul smile, that didn't make me so proud Oh, hang your head on the pillow, I'ma fuck you real slow Yeah? So what do you think? I have pretty good taste in music, right? So this song is by Janae Aiko. You might know her. Okay, it's not focusing. We're gonna put this down. And um, don't quote me on this, but I think I am somewhat of a really good song interpreter and I've been analyzing the song lately and why it's getting me so emotional. So let me just tell you what I think this song is about. So here's how my theory goes. Basically, Janae used to be a cat in her previous life. I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. Cats are also beautiful. And hence the term put comes forward. It just makes sense. But now that she's a human, she has bad days. Like really bad. You know those days where the buckle on your jeans gets caught on the door handles? Yeah, days that are that bad. So on really bad days like this, the cat that she used to be in her previous life comes to visit Janae as a human and she tells her, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be all right. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. And then Janae says, yeah, I'm not gonna have a bad day. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. And then she just goes about her day, being a bad bitch. Instead of having a bad day, she just translates the badness to becoming a bad bitch and having a good day. 
And since this cat from her previous life helped her so much in her human life, Janae decided to write a song. She decided to dedicate the song to her guardian angel, which is a cat. So, Puffy Fairy. And that's what the song is about. Thank me for my interpretation down in the comments below. Don't be shy, I really do bite. So, you better not be shy and thank me in the comments down below. Okay, babe, love you. So, as you guys know, I started college recently and so I've been learning a lot of new words. Um, for example, amortization, provisions, share capital, equity. But do you guys ever have those words that are like, no matter how much someone explains them to you, you just don't get what they mean? For me, it's rhetorical and passive aggressiveness. No matter how many times someone explained those words to me, I just don't get what they mean. Like, even if you use it in a sentence, you use it in a fucking, well, I just don't get what they mean. Like, so make sure to comment down below some words that no matter how many times someone tries to explain it to you, you just don't get it. Maybe I understand those words, so maybe I could try to explain it to you, but really, that I, I probably can't. And make sure to actually comment. You guys are literally embarrassing me. Like, do y'all not care about me? English, which you obviously do since you're watching this video. What the f is wrong with me? But anyway, the English language is very interesting. You know, we have all kinds of idioms and expressions. And so this one particular idiom really got me thinking. You know the saying that goes, I got a bang for my buck. And I was just wondering, who the f came up with that? Like the first guy that said it, I got a bang for my buck. Did people just go along with that? Like, that sounds so sketchy to me. How does that not sound so sus to you? Like, no one questioned the guy that first said it? I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm spiraling. You know what's been really bothering me? Like, my butt bone, like my, like my, you know, my, 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 um, tailbone, whatever you call it, it has been sore for, like, over two weeks, and I just can't figure out what is wrong with it. Like, I exercise with my mom, like, for five days a week, not trying to brag, I exercise five days a week, and I look like this, so y'all don't need to worry about nothing. But, it's been sore, and I'm trying to desperately figure out what exercise it is that's got my butt to become the sore, and I just can't figure it out. And my ass is just crying out for help, and I don't know what's wrong with it, and none of my family members are taking it seriously. Sorry, I haven't been very consistent with uploading. You know, I've really been kind of in the process of uh, plotting a mastermind equal ambush against one of my professors because the quizzes he be putting out, mm, no, <laughs> no, honey. Okay, so I'm not on campus right now. If I ever see him walking around on campus, it's gonna be on site. On site. Anyway, if you watched up until here, thank you so much for your precious time. I really do appreciate it. So make sure you know that. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Have an amazing day. I'm sending you positive vibes and light. Take it. Take it, take it, love only. <laughs>